it's me Margaret and welcome to my cast off video for this week and uh, I am proud to say that last week I had an unfinished object which was this uh, scarf done on the Addy so you can get the colors better and I did finish it up with the tassels on the end so I'm really pleased with this and this will be a gift and I'm trying to hold out so that it'll be a Christmas gift. I'm never, ever this early for Christmas. Go figure. And I'm sad to report that I didn't get to this. I still have to put the edging with the beads on it. So maybe I can do that this week. The reason I don't think I finished that neckerchief is because I kept getting sidetracked with other things and I have to admit they were not great successes either for instance I'm trying to find a mitten pattern that I like and not only does it have to be uh, easy, easily understood etc etc but it has to look good too because some of the mitten patterns out there I'm not really thrilled with this is a red heart pattern a little difficult uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. And then this pattern was something I found on someone's blog. Now, it's made from the top down. Okay, so you start here. And the concept is you get a perfect fit because you slide it over on your hand. But I was using this very thin yarn. So I'm thinking, okay, let's make this for a little person. So I looked up uh, measurements for what a glove might be for a little person. And... I measured this exactly, but that just looks too long, doesn't it? So you do this piece, then you do this piece, and then <clears throat> you kind of tie them together right here, and you continue in the round to finish it. Well, I was not working on the correct side, so that's why you have this different patterning here. But um, I like this pattern. But I probably need to use um, some regular size yarn, like number four worsted, and try one on my own hand first before I venture into the world of toddlers and whatever. So, um, still working on that. Would love to hear if you have mitten patterns that, that you like. Um, again, they have to look right to suit me, not to mention be easy for me to follow. <laughs> So, that's my mitten criteria. And then, I just had one of those weeks. Y you ever have one of those weeks? That, well, actually, not by the normal definition. I had a really good week, as a matter of fact. But, but, but all my yarn work was just a bunch of failures. For instance, you see, once upon a time, when I was just beginning my um, entrance into the world of yarn, I started with loom knitting and a trip to the Dollar Tree to see if they had any yarn because I figured if I failed miserably I wouldn't be out that much money. Well I looked up and there really was some yarn and it was this Karen Dazzle Air which um, of course is discontinued. And it's wonderful with its 80% acrylic and 20% nylon. I have really become a friend of nylon. It seems to make everything so much softer acrylic wise. It was really nice, but of course you can't get any more of this particular yarn. But I still have some left. I later went back to Dollar Tree and I found some that was 100% polyester. Horrible, Karen Symphony. I know why that got discontinued. So anyway, I had some of this left, a whole skein as a matter of fact, and some bits and pieces of this lighter color. So I thought, oh great, I'll make a scarf. Well, it's it's not long enough. I mean, it's too... It, can you see? So it's, it was really a failure. So I'm going to have to take this apart and make a hat out of it or something like that. But not to be undone, because I love working with yarn, and you know I enjoyed doing this, even though it didn't turn out successfully. That's okay. I tried a slip stitch hat um, like this. Totally slip stitches and bulky yarn. Didn't turn out for me. And then I tried another hat that you use a single crochet shallow stitch. And I, it just it just didn't work out. 
it just was not my week for yarn. You know, sometimes it just happens like that. However, on Pinterest, good old Pinterest, I found these knitted birdie hats that were so precious. Of course, I can't knit. And of course, they have that little knot at the top, so I couldn't figure out how to decrease on my Addy. I'm, I know that you can do decreases. I don't know if you could do that small of a decrease. I, I don't know. But regardless, I can't do either, so it didn't make any difference. So I said, I need to translate that into crochet. So this is my prototype. <laughs> Isn't he cute? So he fits a um, toddler size head. And this is just felt that you put on the top. I don't like the sickle crochet pattern that I chose here, but I've got another one to try. Um, this one is wrinkly looking. I don't like the way the increases are not smooth. So I've got another one to try. The wings I used from uh, a pattern that I had to make a amigurumi bird. And while I loved the rolled bottom, I usually don't get excited about knitted rolled bottoms, but I loved it on that little bird. Um, I couldn't make the crochet roll properly, the single crochet, so I just did a little rib stitching here for the bottom, and I think he turned out great. Now I had to kind of play with the eyes to figure out what size it was, and I did that with good old scrap paper. I just cut several circles and held it up until I decided what it looked like. But the eyes, if you can see how they're sewn on there, this one, uh, I did this one too tight. It buckles like a flower, but, well, this one's looking like it's buckling too. Regardless, this is my prototype and I'm learning as I go. I wanted to make sure that those stitches were even, so I sewed the button on first. And then I made a template and stuck it on the button to show me where to make the stitches. All in all, I think he came out pretty well. So I'm going to be giving this a try, making some different kind of birds. But I thought he was so cute. Hey, it's Margaret, and I'm here with my niece, Sarah. I almost said my cousin, Sarah. <laughs> my niece, Sarah, and she is, say hi to Olivia. Hey, hey, Olivia. Olivia's your age, and she is like a knitter extraordinaire. It's pretty okay. impressive, and okay. I can't even begin to knit. Sarah has just taught herself how to crochet from YouTube. That sounds familiar, <laughs> doesn't it? And look what she's working on. She's making an afghan. Yes, I don't even touch afghans because I can't do it. It is... Double crochet, front loops only, so it's extremely classic. What what yarn is that? Um, I don't know. I bought some. It looks like this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's a red heart, that new red heart that they've got. See you know what I'm talking about with the um, tweed woven something or other in there? Mm hmm So, um, I'm just so impressed. I didn't even know she was doing that. <laughs> And she also is a model for C Spire, so you can look at C Spire's website and see Sarah on there. So that's pretty impressive. Now, also, while I'm bragging on her, she taught herself to quilt, too. Is that not the cutest thing? See? <laughs> I'm so proud of her. So say hello to your 650 subscribers. Hello, everyone. It's so cool to be famous now. Is it, do you remember who, what YouTube video talked about? I don't remember. It was just on a whim. Just on I a just whim. got it because I was bored one day. And yeah, you just did it. Just but, did it. But you don't know who it was. Mm -mm. <sighs> she, Sorry. She has to learn the lingo. <laughs> it. All right, anyway, that's all. Bye. Bye. So that's really all I got for you this week. Um... I plan on finishing up some objects. I need to finish Erin's um, Grady Squares that I made and get those in the mail to her. Um, and, you know, I totally screwed up that challenge that she's working on. 
I had all these hats and I mailed them off before I counted them, weighed them, and did all that stuff. It was just random hats and I just totally messed up that entire thing. So I'm sorry, Erin, that it looks like I dropped out. I, I, I did so inadvertently. <laughs> I didn't mean to. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish up some, some works in progress. I need to clean up my sewing room because I've got some sewing that I need to do for the fall. Not really sewing, but mending and, and things like that. And you can't walk in my study. It's just a wreck. So that's probably going to be what I'm working on next week. So I may or may not have um, a cast off video. I don't know. We'll go to it. But um, I'll be looking forward to seeing what everybody else did. Y'all have a great week. Bye.